Hi, Brentech here, where tech is made simple. So if you have purchased a new Windows laptop, then just a quick video to show you a couple of things you can do to set up your new device, to keep your data secure, to increase the functionality of your OS and your device, and also to make it a little bit more user-friendly. And no, it's not setting up Linux. Side joke. Now, first of all, I would suggest installing uh, updates because obviously um, new laptops can sit in retail for a good couple of months after leaving the factory before they're sold. So in most cases, new devices and laptops um, have pending updates. So I would head over to my Windows Update page and I would click on Check for Updates to download any quality and security updates. Now, I'm not talking about optional updates. I would only install optional updates as needed. I'm talking about um, quality security updates and so on that will be downloaded and installed automatically and that's obviously um, to keep your device secure with mainly security updates because as mentioned it hadn't and wouldn't have received updates for a good couple of months in some and most cases. Now the next thing you can do and this is a big one for me is to uninstall pre-installed bloatware because obviously um, apps and programs that are pre-installed on your laptop and by manufacturers can take up unnecessary uh, storage space and reduce your system performance by running unnecessarily in the background. So these can include antivirus software, music, uh, streaming apps, weather, news apps, video games, OEM branded apps, and the list goes on, as you may well know. So I would head back into my settings, head over to apps, and I would obviously go through my installed apps list, and I would um, obviously... Un uninstall any pre-installed bloatware by clicking on the three dotted menu and uninstalling any app that you may not want and obviously everybody's needs are different when setting up a new device so that would be up to your own obviously discretion and personal choice then moving on to the next one i would configure and set up a backup now this could be um using google drive onedrive any other third-party cloud service that you may trust and affiliated to or you know or subscribe to or setting up a external hard drive or backup system but make sure you configure a backup there are plenty of ways to back up your system and configuring a backup is always a good idea and to get into that habit then next i would create a system restore point because if you encounter any problems um quite soon after uh, setting up your new laptop um, you can then obviously revert your system to a previous state when everything was working fine. Uh, so to do this, I would just suggest heading to your search and doing a search for restore point and then just clicking, clicking on the relevant entry. And here we go. You just click on the create tab and you can then type a description to help you identify the restore point and the current date and time are added automatically. So that's something I would also just suggest doing setting up and creating a system restore point so if something goes bang in the night you can always restore your system back to a previous working state and here's another big one for me you need to disable ads and recommendations because obviously as you may well know microsoft displays advertisements in a whole lot of different areas uh, in the windows operating system which could be things like ads and recommendations in the start menu lock screen windows search windows store and the file explorer now for this, we're going to head back into our settings and I would then navigate to system notifications and on the notifications page, I would scroll right down to the bottom, click on additional settings and I would uncheck all three of these boxes. Now obviously everybody's needs are different, so I'm just telling you what I do in my case. You must just read the different description of each setting, but this will reduce the amount of ads and recommendations and then something else I would do is head to my privacy and security page, general. And once again, I would uncheck most of these boxes. I only have um, one of these turned on because that will improve my searching on my device. But I would definitely turn off show me suggested content in the settings app and show me notifications in the settings app. Those two I would definitely turn off if you don't want to see ads and recommendations. And then something else you can do on the privacy and security page if you're not using online speech recognition, I would turn that off. Uh, if you're not using inking and typing personalization, I would turn that off. And then activity history, 
I leave this on um, because of the search functionality. It just improves my searching on my device. But for privacy, you can also turn that off. And I think that's all. And something on the general page, if we just head back to that. Um, sorry, if we head back to diagnostics and feedback, this is also important. Um, I've sent optional diagnostic data for the purposes of this channel, but um, I would definitely turn that off. And then I would turn all of these other improved inking and typing, tailored, experience, tailored experiences, view diagnostic data, I would turn those off. And then feedback frequency, choose how often Windows asks for your feedback. I would also set that to never. But obviously, once again, everybody's needs are different, but that's what I do in my case. But that will definitely help what I've just shown to um, reduce the amount of um, ads and recommendations you see on a new Windows laptop, as an example. And then I'll also enable Find My Device, because it allows you to track your PC's location if it gets lost or stolen, as you may well know, which then you, then you can also use it to prevent unauthorized access to your private data. So for this, we stick on the privacy and security page, and yeah, right at the top, you'll see Find My Device, and you toggle that on, and obviously that'll set up the and enable Find My Device, which I also think is a good idea. And then I would also set up Windows Hello, which means you can sign into your laptop using facial recognition, fingerprinting, scanning, or a PIN, so that you can avoid typing in a long password. And I actually, just from a kind of user-friendly aspect, I suggest doing this because um, uh, it just makes things a lot more functional and easy when you are signing into your laptop if you are doing that um, on you know numerous times a day. So for this, we head to Accounts, and here we go, sign in options. And if you have facial recognition available, you can turn that on and set it up. Fingerprint, if you have it available, you can set it up. Um, I use a pin, sign in with a pin. And I actually find that, as you may well know, I find that quite handy and quite um, easy and functional to do. Set up Windows Hello, something I do recommend. Just makes signing in um, to your device a lot more user friendly. And then, um, obviously, everybody's needs are different. So then you would install your own apps that you would use, third-party apps and so on. And obviously, that is a very long list. But obviously, everybody's needs are different. So I would install any essential apps that you would use um, on a day-to-day. -day. So I hope that helps. There's a couple of things um, you can try out uh, to set up your new Windows laptop. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.